of the four stream bass is found from the Suwannee River south. Now, they stick them in Texas and Louisiana and California and all those other places, but the, you know where they get them from? Anybody? Yeah, exactly right. They get them right from here. And they have to keep getting them right from here to keep those genetics going. But in general, that's where the floor strain bass is. Now, here's the difference between a floor strain bass and a northern strain bass. First of all, a northern strain bass is genetically different. Many people want to call it a different species. I call it my, my Crocker Samoides is, is the bass, right? The North Floridanus is the Florida strain bass. So it's a, literally a genetically different species. If you run a gel on it, look at the different enzymes and proteins, they're different. Now, what's that mean to you? That means nothing, right? Who cares about that? Well, here's what happens. Number one, they spawn over a longer period of time. Down here in Central Florida, bass spawn between December and April. That'll blow your mind from Illinois when they go in that two weeks, right? The end of April, beginning of May. All right? So they spawn over a longer period of time. In the Everglades, they spawn year-round. In Okeechobee, they spawn from October to April. So that gives you an idea of how they develop their life cycle totally different from the northern strain bass. Number two, because they spawn over a longer period of time, the males are not nearly as aggressive on, on, the, on the bed. Like you'll see that. Up north, boy, you know, you get anything in there, that male's at it, it's, it's very aggressive. And then thirdly, they, you know, no fish is smart. If fish could think, we never catch a single one. But if they can condition, just like Pavlov's dog, right? They can condition, and the Florida strain bass is conditions much quicker than the northern strain. We've actually gone into ponds, up in southern Illinois where I got my masters, and we had northern and Florida strain bass in there, and we'd catch a fish, we'd clip it, clip it, and each time it caught. Well, let me tell you something. <laughs> the northern strain bass is a lot easier to catch than the Florida strain, okay? It just really is. I've done it before. Actually, anything below 60 degrees down here for the Florida strain bass is up-o time, okay? Last but not least, and this is the beauty of it, <laughs> They grow much bigger. They get a lot bigger down here. You're going to love it. I can tell you one thing. This trophy catch program is really cool because you can see all the, the different big fish caught. I've had the pleasure since the buck Perry knowledge of having a five fish, 55 pound stringer on Toho. I've had 10 trophies in six hours before. I caught a, a 13 and a quarter pound bass. Um, this is the fishing capital of the world. Now, whether or not you're tapping into it or not, that's up to you. But I'm going to talk about stuff that was 20 years ago. Um, I don't get any money for the trophy catch fish, but I turn them in just for the biologists and also to prove we're the undisputed bass fishing capital of the world. And I've had 10 or 15 in the last six months, okay? Trophy fish, eight pounds or bigger. So this is the land of the trophy. Texas state record wasn't even like over 12 pounds before we gave them the Florida strain bass. California didn't have 23 and 24 pound bass, which of course, didn't go through the certification process, but they have 20, 21 pound bass that they've caught in California. Without that Florida strain, they never would have got that big. Okay. So once again, they spawn over a longer period of time. They're more aggressive. The males are less aggressive. They don't do well with cold water. They certainly are more difficult to catch, but they do grow bigger. And by the way, they can handle warm water much better. 92 degrees for a Florida strain bass, no problem. All right, so any questions? I like to have it between seven and eight, okay, in general. But I'd rather much rather be on the other end, 8.1, 7.9, than it would be down in the fives and the sixes. doesn't mean you can't catch a big bass in South Pocky or Claremont or have a good day when the water's flowing or if you have a, a spot that's real good. Don't give up on it. And plus, fishing isn't all just about the catching. Some of it's some of these lakes are some of the prettiest lakes. Alligator chain, I live five minutes from it. I don't bass fish it. I speck fish it because the speck fish grow real slow. And I can, I've had stringers of, of five speck that went 13 pounds.